Hey, Chris Fulby here from Capital Ford Lincoln's Manitoba Tough. This is one guy I would want to be in the ring with. One of the toughest guys I've ever known, Roland DeLorme. I'm up from Winnipeg, Manitoba. I grew up in St. Norbert. Played outside a lot. I was getting in a lot of trouble when I was a kid, and my parents and they ended up putting me in a, a judo program because they needed something to kind of channel my aggression and kind of channel my anger in a positive light. I ended up doing well. You know, I, I started flying me all over the country to tournaments. You know, I was winning everywhere I went. So I, I did that till about I was 16. I got my black belt, and then I, I started doing jiu jitsu when I was 20. MMA is mixed martial arts. It's, it's a mixture of boxing, kickboxing, jiu jitsu, all rolled into one, you know, it's supposed to be the purest form of combat sports. Maybe you can tell uh, the people out there right now, first off, what it's like to be on the Ultimate Fighter, and secondly, how hard it is to actually be one of the contestants on that show. What do you have to, what do you have to do to even be a contestant on a crazy show like that? Because you have to be pretty dang good. You have to be good, you know, and you have to be creative, right? Like, that's, that's the main thing, especially when you're on TV and then they're doing your production. You have to be, you know, you have to be smart, you have to be witty. Coming in, you have to have a winning record, and you have to have at least five, at least five fights. They broke us up in the groups of 50. On top of that, because the first section is a grappling competition, and you just pick two guys out of the crowd, like you, okay, you go against you, but on a mat, in a room, in front of like all the high executives of the UFC, and you know, now you gotta perform. So that's what you get. That's so your whole thing is built your up. Your whole two life, minutes. your whole life, your whole, your whole build up, your wow. whole everything is, is, is two minutes. Okay, you got two minutes, show us what you have. The grappling section, I, I did well. So um, I made the cut there. That's what they do is that they, they call your name. They say, okay, if we call your name, you're good. If you don't, you don't hear your name, you get out. So there's 50 guys in a the room, they start calling out names, and you're, and you're just sitting there like, you know, like waiting and waiting, and all of a sudden I'm waiting and I can't, they haven't said my name yet. I'm like, oh man, oh, you know, I just, I just wasted a bunch of money. I just, I, just, I, you know, I, just, oh, I just wasted my time. And then all of a sudden you hear it and you're like, yeah, you know, you start screaming, like pumped, you know, you're like, yeah, okay, let's do this now. And then the second cut was pads. So somebody holds pads for you. So just to make sure that you could punch straight, you could you know, punch properly, you know what you're doing, that sort of thing. Every time stage come, half the room will go. So now all of a sudden, just, you're standing around, there's, from the 50, there's 10 guys left. I'm looking around, you know, I'm one of those 10 guys, and I'm happy, you know, and static, you know, but now the last section, was, the last, last portion of the tryout was the, the interview. So now, now you gotta go into a room with, you know, all the executives of the UFC and the producers, and now you, gotta, now you gotta pop on camera, man. Now you gotta make it work. You can't stutter, you can't be shy, you can't be, you know, or else you're gone, you know, and that's it. So, you know, I, I went in that room and, uh, you know, I did my thing. Tell me about some of the more serious injuries or injuries that you had to incur over your career. I got poked in the eye one time. That was, that was uh, oh, wow. probably the, the worst injury I got ever had received fighting. I think I had vision problems for about um, six months where I always had like a dark spot, like off at the side for a bit. But, the, but that went away, thank God, so that's good. But yeah, that was probably the worst injury I ever got fighting. I mean, I broke my foot one time kicking a guy, but that, that wasn't as bad as getting poked in the eye. I, I saw that one guy, I was watching that one fight, and I can't remember his name, he's a Polish fighter, and he kicked the guy with a round kick and he snapped his, the, the, whole, the whole front of his leg just bent over, and it was like the grossest thing I've ever seen to watch. But I, I mean, these guys, like, I mean, when you're kicking bags, I don't, I don't understand how when you kick a bag, it can replicate kicking another's shin. Well, the main thing is that when you're kicking a guy, the whole thing is that you don't want to kick the guy in the shin. You want to kick the guy in the thigh, upper thigh, okay. you know what I mean? Where the little meteor, stuff like that, and that's what hurts the most too because that's, that, that's where the muscle is. That's where a lot of the leg breaks come from, is when um, you go to throw the kick and you don't set it up properly and the guy checks it. The guy checks it with his knee and then the guy's, you know, shin snaps over the top of it. You know, that's, so that, that's, that's, that's one thing that um, this would usually happens. You know, you don't want to be, I mean, you can kick a guy in the, in the calf, but it's not very popular, but I mean, that does hurt though. I just tell you what, but kicking the calf too doesn't really feel good. Although kicking and getting kicked anywhere doesn't really feel good. Yeah, no, I, agree. <laughs> I agree with you. I don't like getting kicked at all. Join us next time for another great episode of Capital Ford Lincoln's Manitoba Tough. See you then.